In today's video, we have a giveaway of five full licenses for plugins, including a compressor, a reverb, and an audio enhancer. Ooh. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Now recently I was contacted by United Plugins and they wanted me to take a look at the three plugins that they're using to launch their new label. So I did and I liked them. Not only that, but they said they would like to give away five full licenses to five lucky viewers and you can pick any one of the three plugins I'm about to show you. I will give details at the end of this video about exactly how you can enter for this giveaway and I'll include some extra opportunities for you to get your name in the hat more than once in fact three times in total so stick around and watch to the end of the video so that you can get those details but first of all let's take a look at these three plugins okay so the first of the plugins I'm going to take a look at is called fire cobra and I'm calling this an audio enhancer which is a term which means not much at all but I'm sticking to it because it's the best I've got now I've applied it to my master bus on one of my songs from an upcoming EP called Wonderland now I just want to point out quickly before I go through all the controls and things because I'm going to play you the song first but notice the difference between the input and the output output controls here now like many plugins as you add effects with this plugin the volume actually increases now this gives you a very false sense of security because as we all know slightly louder music tends to just sound better to the human ears so i have compensated for that so that we're getting an equal input and output level on this plugin uh, and i just really wanted to point that out because the differences between the two are quite stark when you hear them and you may think that it sounds a little louder when it really isn't. Anyway, have a listen to this instrumental part of the song and I will start off with it bypassed and then I'll unbypass it, if that's a word, and you'll hear the difference. Now unbypass. Bypassed again. Okay, so this kind of falls into that category of sort of almost just one or two button magic plugins, which seems to do wonderful, wonderful things to the audio. And it basically works on uh, three sort of algorithms here, the intensify, smack and analogize and an analogize um, however you say that so just starting off with intense five got it switched up pretty loud here this is uh, the main one really and this is um, what they call advanced dynamics processing I'm not sure what's going on under the hood but essentially what it seems to do is sort of separate some of the parts it makes things that are previously hidden and a bit muddy sort of brings them out and suppresses some other things which were a bit too up front uh, that's a very very vague way of explaining what that does but there you go and then we have the smack control in the middle here that creates some harmonic distortion which is a rather pleasant thing to add to sound to make it sound a little bit more natural and last we have a saturation control which is called analogize um, so that those are the main controls and of course you've got the dry wet mix and I've got fully on wet here um, so that is fire cobra the first of our plugins that we're looking at so next up we have royal compressor which is a compressor plugin in fact it's a variable mu compressor it's modeled on some old analog gear and they've kind of tried to take three pieces of analog gear i think and kind of blend them into one plugin so you can get the benefits of the digital domain now if you're used to seeing the kind of compressors which come with your daw which will have a threshold an attack release a ratio that kind of thing then you won't see the same controls here this is used in a slightly different way i'll just go through the 
the controls briefly so that you understand what they do. First of all, over here on the left, you have the uh, input control. Now, obviously, that controls the level of the input, but when you're driving analog gear or a sort of simulation of analog gear, that becomes significant because the harder you drive it, the more color it tends to add. So um, it's kind of like a threshold in a way as well, but um, really think of it as if you really want to drive those tubes hard, then put that up a bit higher. Next over here we have the model control and that goes through three different sort of simulations of analog gear. The first one on the left being A which has the cleanest sound and the fastest attack all the way through to C which has the most colored sound um, and a slower attack and B somewhere in between. Then down here we have the recovery knob, which you can think of as being for release times, the traditional release time. So that goes through from fast here all the way down to slow, and you can uh, also put it on hold. Uh, then you have a, a meter in the middle, so, so you can see how much compression is actually happening. Then we have auto gain over here. Now lots of uh, plugins have auto gain on them, and they sort of work to varying degrees. This one I think works pretty well, so I've left it on. Um, and then you have a lovely saturation knob so you can actually control yourself how much saturation is happening. Now, I don't think these are a sort of a very aggressive compressor, so they're not, they're not that great for sort of definitely adding loads and loads of punch to drums or something like that. People may disagree with me. That's what I think. But I do like it on the master bus where it kind of glues everything together. So that's where I've put it. What I'm going to do is play the track again. This time I'm just going to go through these three main controls, those being the model, which controls the attack and the color, the recovery, which is the release, and the saturation. So let's play the track and see see if you can hear the difference as I play with it. Now where the other plugins had very few controls, the Hyperspace Reverb plugin has a lot of controls so you can really dig into the detail. I'm not gonna be going through each and every one of the controls, but we'll look at the main areas. Starting off in the middle with this pink area, it's the most notable one. This controls the main character of the reverb. It has six different modes, and then on the left you control the parameters of the algorithm um, using this sort of joystick control, and on the right you control the character of the reverb, again using kind of a joystick control. Then on the left with this blue area, that is where you use parameters to create an actual virtual space. So you can set the kind of the, the size and delay and the different characteristics of a particular space. Then over on the right hand side, you have the orange controls. These are primarily special effects that you can then blend in. And then at the bottom, the green controls are all about sort of fitting the reverb into the mix with the kind of focus, the dynamics, that kind of thing. Thing. Now, I'm sure you want to hear how this sounds. So what I've done is put this on the acoustic guitar track in the song, and I'm going to play it, and I'm going to go through some of the presets, starting off with the smaller spaces, then the medium spaces, all the way up to some big spaces. So have a listen to that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now to get the chance to be one of the lucky winners in this giveaway, I just need you to do a few simple things. First of all, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and that you've rung the bell on YouTube so that you get notified about the announcement video, which will come out in around about two weeks time. Now, in order to actually be entered, you also have to leave a comment down below and tell us which one of the plugins you would prefer to win and why. Now, if you wanna get an extra chance to win, then go to my Twitter account and retweet the tweet I have made about this giveaway. If you want another opportunity to win, then go to my Facebook page and share the post about this giveaway. If you do those three things, you'll have your name in the hat three times to win. Now, if you like this video, please do hit the like button. If you didn't like this video, then please do hit the dislike button twice. And I will see you in the next video.